seek professional advice. Yeah, so in, in this uh, episode today, um, we are going to talk about what's happened in the last couple of weeks uh, yep. in, in the, the fortnight in fetus news, yep. as, as the segment goes. Uh, our topic of the week is naming and how you name a baby. Yep, I've got some good views on that. Good views and on that. And we're going to try and... So I've got some ideas for names for your kid. And I'm going to try We've and convince got some you ideas. They're, they're a better... They're a good idea. Sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Uh, Joel's dad, dad joke of the week. Yeah. Uh, which up. is uh, a, a yeah. fan favourite section. Well, the problem with that is it makes it sound like I'm like you can't retell a funny story you you said no. because it, it, it's a bit you know. But that makes it even more dangerous. Okay, joke good. For me. All right, yeah, yeah. No, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's, <laughs> because it's, it's just yeah. quite flat. Right. Okay, I've got some. I've got some. I've got some good ones. Yeah, just don't don't blow your load. Oh, just one is oh, fine. Yeah, okay. uh, and then next major milestone. So I guess we can just get started straight away with yeah. fetus news. Fetus news. Fetus fortnight. This week in fetus news. So this how many weeks are you? Fetus news. Yeah, how many weeks is 18, your wife? Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. So we last checked in on sixteen weeks when she was a beaver. She was a beaver. Yep. Um, and so this. Um, no, didn't match up exactly, right. but we, we, we've we got, um, no if this particular that. animal was an overdue, and they'd probably be induced by now, right, okay. right? <laughs> what animal would it be? Oh, I mean, so I haven't checked this, and I, I, I could do the research, but I haven't. Don't do so, it ever, because no, I'm going to ask you this every I week. I think a fallow deer. That's a great answer. Mm. It's not, it's, it's, oh. just, it's a pig. Oh, okay. It's All a right, pig. Yeah, yeah. because we, obviously... African elephant is 654 days. Right, so that's more than a human being. Way more than a human. Yeah. So we're not going to run out of these, so don't do the research and no, we'll, I won't do, we'll do, do guessing each no, week. And, and do you think that it's always size and like based on mass? Because a pig, a pig is probably heavier than a human, isn't it? If, if I go to the, think about going to the farm with the kids and you've got You're like not a pig. at the farm. You know, I mean, well, yeah, but when you've been. Yeah, I mean, I've been. Outside How big's a piglet? Of I mean, a piglet when they come out are about yay big. But if you see like a mum pig laying down, suckling the young, a, yeah. a mum pig is as big as this table. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it's always about size. A lot of it is neurological complexity, right? Uh, and that's one of the problems of well, how hard it is for the body to make the brain and the and the nervous system. Thing. Yeah, that that one of the reasons why babies are so helpless mm. is because they're almost undercooked, right, when they come out. Um, because yeah, whereas like a giraffe the... baby jumps, lands on its feet and literally runs Walking off. Away, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's, there's elements, like, I think yeah. there's a lot to it. It's not necessarily yeah. just physical size. Okay. Um, I think it's, it's neurological complexity and all, all that other kind of stuff. Yeah, there's something about being a teenager as well. That, um, the, the, the reason that we are smarter than other animals is, is we have those kind of those teenage years and the ado- uh, uh, an increased adolescence. And like mm. an, an arrested development, so to speak, that allows you Still to in go it, through yeah. all those things. Yeah, that's a really interesting stuff about the way that teenagers' brain works as well. So you know the whole idea that it, you think teenagers are lazy because they only get up at midday and then they stay awake till two or three o'clock in the morning. That's actually evolutionary because it allows you to operate outside of your parents. So that's teaching because your parents are asleep. You shift your your awake time to a time when you can learn to be independent. Is that Sarah Blakemore's book? I don't think I've read that. Oh, no. It's very good. The Teenage Brain, yeah. We can save a lot of this for season 13. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. We we can come back to it on season 13. Yeah. That'd be good. Um, Obviously, in the UK, we measure um, fetuses in fruit. Yep. Um, What have we got this week? What's on the menu? What's on the menu this week? (laughs) Um, Well, I mean, again, you, you guess... Okay. So, what's the so, fruit so, so we had a navel orange at 14 weeks. We've had avocado. an avocado at 16 weeks. Yeah, so 18. Um, what's slightly bigger than an avocado? It's too early for a mango. It's too early for... I mean, it's always too early to have a mango <laughs> in your mouth. Um, so what's slightly smaller than a mango but bigger than an avocado? I mean, is it... Uh, is it a golden delicious apple? No, it's one of those ones that's a bit like pedantic where they've taken the botanical definition of a fruit rather mm. than... Is is it a pomegranate? No, it's a cucumber. 14 doesn't, centimetres doesn't long. Doesn't work. Yeah. Because, I mean, a cucumber is, is, is like that, isn't it? And well, then, this cucumber they're defining as being 14 to 15 centimetres long. I don't think long. that passes EU regulations for an acceptable size well, of cucumber. Well, thank God for Brexit. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Now we can have... <laughs> Small cucumbers again, but yeah. So yeah. half half a ruler. That's the way yeah. I'm, I'm 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 imagining it. Yeah, in my and that's, head. that is the worst. F- how big a fruit is because nobody. When you think of a cucumber, you think of a full ruler. That's that, a full ruler. Yeah, yeah, that's a cucumber. Yeah, yeah not but, half a cucumber. Although you can buy half a cucumbers. Or you certainly used to be able to. Ah, for yeah. for the single people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the low yeah. cucumber usage households yeah, don't have to be single. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Great. So that's the um, fruit and gestational period. Yep. Some interesting what stuff. What does it learn this week? Well, what it's learned this week, I try and just pick up the things that catch my eye because okay. quite a lot happens still um, each week. And something that caught my eye is not necessarily what it learned, but something that was something that made me go, oh. Yeah. Uh, but when you think about it, it's actually obvious. Um, a baby's urine contains no waste. Right. Okay. Because it goes through the placenta. Right, okay. Into the blood. So, so the placenta takes out all the waste. Yeah. Right, okay. So the urine is... So is, surely there is no urine then? Well, no, there is, there, there is urine, but there's no waste in it. Right. Because um, it's drinking. The, the amniotic fluid is mostly urine at this yeah, stage. It's 450 millilitres. Yeah, a, a day. day. Yeah. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chiron here. And then... Um, and so that goes into the, to the baby. It's kidneys working at this point? Um, I think we've got rudimentary kidney function. Yeah. I don't know if it's fully going, okay. because I think that is maybe when some of it kind of kicks in right. uh, later on. Um, hiccups and yawning. Oh, that's nice. I thought that was nice. Yeah. Like these these little moments of what's quite a human like, thing. Well, well, yawning is an unusual one, isn't it? Because you, the the idea of yawning is is to get extra oxygen. I think that's an it? absolute myth. No. Okay. Well, the other one I yeah, heard was that's a was, Snopes thing was signalling that everything is okay. Okay. So why do we yawn then? I don't think anybody knows. That's is a, it? such a cop out. Such a cop out. Nobody knows. I mean, come on. The, uh, and then someone must have done a proper study into why we yawn and have some kind of idea. The two theories I've seen is, is it increases the amount of oxygen you can take in quickly. And the other is it's a social symbol that everything is okay because that's why it's contagious. So if I yawn and you yawn, it's kind of saying, oh, we're all safe and cuddly and let's have a sleep. Have we still got the Chiron in our pocket I that can, we can I, bring I, I reckon up? I can pull it out. Let's yeah. put, we'll go to the Chiron on that yeah. and then we'll see who is right because if, if a baby is yawning in utero well mm. that just blows everything over I mean we could start a whole new study on this because yeah. if what's its reason for yawning I don't know I mean feels I mean how have they have they spotted this on a scan well yeah you can I mean mm. uh, uh, only recently could be we, singing could be <laughs> but also um, the I didn't even know this was a myth did you yeah. know this was at least a myth yeah. heart rate determining sex you never heard that before? Never heard it. Well, apparently that's a, a myth that's not true. So no, if you think right. that's true, yeah. it's not true. But I've never heard of it. Never heard it. No, all right, good. Glad we cleared that up. Um, <laughs> this, is, this amused me. Yeah. This, was, this was a bit like um, the daddy long legs having loads of, like, you know, venom. But, but, but it's no got teeth. No teeth. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, it's got fully mature taste buds, but no nerve endings to transfer anything. Uh -huh. Which, if gotcha. you're drinking piss all day, it's probably quite yeah, good. Yeah, you don't want that, do you? Yeah. But fully mature taste buds, yeah. that's quite nice. Nice. Um, Sucks its thumb occasionally. Oh, good. A accidentally, though, not really Just on purpose. Just kind of flailing around. Yeah, one goes in its mouth, oh, one up its nose, one it's here. Yeah, there you go. There. Um, tooth buds uh, mm. have started to kick in. Mm. I remember seeing a, a cross section of child's teeth. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? It's it's one of the most alien things. Yeah, because they grow the teeth. They've got the teeth You've ready seen. now. Yeah, well, my, my two-year-old, like you can see her adult teeth. She's got quite pronounced adult teeth behind her baby teeth, so you can, can see them in her gums like, at the front. That's disgusting. It's horrible, yeah. Well, maybe yeah. we'll put a little image here of that cross-section if I can find yeah, it. Yeah, we'll uh, find one, yeah, and I've seen it quite a few times. Like an x-ray of a kid's head, and the teeth are just sitting there waiting to no, go No, this was it. like... Um, I think I saw this in maybe the uh, Edinburgh Medical Museum. Oh, oh, like a dead baby yeah, that's been a dead flayed. Baby. Yeah. Well, you can see it on an X-ray as well. And, yeah. they, and they're like, as like a shark, like their teeth, they they they're like a, a little kind of um, conveyor belt, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. they lose their teeth all the time, and they just get keep getting new ones. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get an image of that. Baby so. Sharks. But, <laughs> do, 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 do. It's <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> oh, I have your baby shark oh, for this week. Yeah, oh, I'll make sure yeah. you give me yeah, that. I'll take it back. It's Christmas. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Abigail's getting annoyed with how much I you use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll never get annoyed. Um, so, a, a nice word, a term that I'd never heard before is that now the movements are starting to come. All right. She hasn't really felt it yet. No, no kicks yet. No. no. You think it was your kid? It'd be like boot, boot, whack. Yeah. I mean, yeah. she doesn't. She doesn't necessarily know what she's looking for. So she may. Mm. The common thing is. You might think it's indigestion or. I think, I think or it's that just like a thing. little flutter yeah. at the start. Do you know what that's called though when they start? No, go on. It has a lovely term. Yeah. What would you have a guess at? It's it's not a medical term, it's no. just a, an, an English term. What would you guess it might be called? Uh, the, the fluttering of a child for the first time. It's pretty close. Uh, no, 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 that's oh, what I'm oh, asking. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm asking you to find. What do you think that might uh, be called? I think it would be called a, um, a ripple. That's nice. No, yeah. it's, called, it's called a quickening. Oh, wow. Which I really like. That's in the Highlander where they get. Immortal life, isn't it? <laughs> well, maybe that's where they got it from. 
yeah, 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 that's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then the last thing that amused me was learning about relaxing hormones. Do you know the hormone relaxing? Yeah, it's just when you're just kicking back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's a, that's a, I never knew that was a hormone, and that's a very right. common thing that right. pregnant women get a load of. Yeah, and then um, they sit back and they start relaxing. When they have a lot of relaxing. Yeah. In South Philadelphia. It's spelt... West Philadelphia. Yeah, come on, you bitch. Yeah. It's spelt like a kind of... If you take of, it out of order, it's very hard to remember song lyrics if you just start picking and choosing lines. That, yeah, that yeah. is true. Um, but it looks like a kind of Blade Runner thing that you would buy by relaxing and it's spelled yeah. exactly like that. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting. One. So that yeah. is the fortnight in fetus news. That was that was good. That was some good uh, some good facts. Some, some good, good stuff. Seeing it, it grow and in, increase and mm. we, can we call it he yet? You you refer to me he colloquially in the house? To help me um, associate, yeah. I think like using gendered pronouns but, 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 is be really helpful yeah, but when yeah, you say so. to, to your wife um, oh have you felt him this morning or like you know you don't say that yet you think mm, still that's a good point I'm, I think I'm kind of probably 50-50 in usage yeah. I, I go between you use he once then yeah I don't yeah. think I've fully no. personified it yet yeah. you have got a blue bedroom haven't you blue I have bedroom. got a blue bedroom yeah, yeah but if, if it was a girl was it still going to be that colour well it's, it was my wife's choice of colour so mm. it can't be it has to. It's feminism, right? If she chooses. No, but I mean, but 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 if you did, you decide that colour before you had the sex test. I had no discussion about it whatsoever. You had no idea what was coming. No, no, no she just wasn't. You weren't in that meeting. No, she yeah. just did it yeah. with the painter, and that was it. She yeah. did it with the painter. Yeah, <laughs> and then somehow we got a very cheap uh, deal yeah. on the painting, and yeah, she's pregnant. I, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the week in fetus yeah. news. <laughs> wow, that took a turn, yeah. didn't it? main topic of the week in this week's well topic of the week is about baby naming yep how do you come up with baby names it's, it's such an important thing isn't it that you you decide sometimes over a course of months sometimes people have their name ready for years and sometimes you decide on the day mm -hmm. and that kid has to have that same name for 80 years which is preposterous it's amazing yeah, yeah. i mean i know you can change your name by deep poll if you're called zoe bowie or something you can yeah. you can change it but I think you know you you're actually making a huge decision, and I wonder if there's any psychologicalness attached to a name. Like if you give your son a name Susan, and he's a boy named Sue, will he grow up differently than if you called him Brian? Well, we we often talk quite a lot about our nominative determinism. Yep. Favorite facts about the idea that it's, it is a thing, isn't it? Yeah. It is definitely yeah. a thing that your name can determine seemingly unconnected ideas about yep. what you do in life. Yep. Like people called. Um, Peter Money mm -hmm. might work in finance. Yep. Uh, or we have proof of. Which we have proof of. <laughs> I very quickly thought of a, a new yeah. surname. No, uh, a new first name, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, or even just as simple as like... like Laura might be a, more likely to be a solicitor or a barrister, wasn't it? Yeah, it? yeah, even yeah. weird yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So there's, there's huge amounts yeah. of um, a determinism. I think, I think if the name conjures up any kind of we're going to come on to this because some yeah. of my names definitely do conjure up mm. some of these things associations of feelings mm. you're unconsciously going to infer those feelings when you meet someone with that name yes I think so yeah I, and, and I think so I remember like if you only know one person with that name and you dislike them then if you say okay how about the name I don't know Jovan and I'd be like what? What? It's a stupid no, name. No, that's an awful name. It because it's like just a 70s kind of Serbian of war criminal. Yeah. yeah. Or like or yeah. some kind of horrible aftershave. Yeah. Right? So so I would like talk you out of that because of this association with such a terrible name. Um, and that's unfair. That's just because you know one awful <laughs> yoga. Yes, exactly. Yeah, which is terrible. Um, so so that's like a really interesting thing. So, But I mean, I, I'll happily go through my kids' names because I think that there's, there's a decision process for all of them. So maybe it'll help you. Okay, okay let's so, do it. So, um, so we've got three. Yep. You can remember all of them? No, I've got them written down. Okay, yeah. good. So um, my daughter is called Scarlet. Right. Um, with one T. Right. Yeah. And, and so this is interesting because spelling is another thing. So yeah. um, what we did is we got a book of baby names and then... Because I would never do, spell it with one T. I know, well, I'll tell you, yeah. you through it. Um, and then we went through a list of... Um, the, there's a great website called Nameberry. And what Nameberry does is have names... Brought to you by Nameberry.com. ...in, in, in groups. So it'll say um, sporty sounding names or natural sounding names or summer and winter sounding names. It's really, really good for that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that was um, bad girl names, like names for like naughty kids. Right. And I'm like, right, I've got to pick a name from here. Okay. And the name that stuck out was Scarlet. 
Um, and you associate with someone like Scarlett Johansson and someone like that as well. Not Scarlett O'Hara. Really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All those kind of really kind of cool wanton women. Yep. Um, traditionally, it's spelled with two T's. That's mm-hmm. how it's it's been spelled. We thought if she only has to write one T cumulatively over a lifetime, we're saving her hours. <laughs> Right. Um, but no, 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 that no, wasn't me, genuinely your reason. No, was it's it? partly the reason. No, no. Okay. The, the reason we, we went with Scarlet with the one T is because that's a colour. So the name Scarlet uh, is just a name, right? Whereas the name with course. one T is the colour Scarlet. So it was giving her a name that was something else other than a name. So that was our, our thought process. Oh, it's nice. Now you can say that dumb or that was daft or you're a bunch of idiots. But that was how we arrived at that point. She's probably going to have to spell her name for the rest of her life. No, Scarlet with one T. Well, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. almost spelling their name, though, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's not it's like qualifying it as you go. Yeah, yeah, I mean, possibly. Yeah. Um, it actually makes it really hard to get like the little signs made up for her bedroom door, and you know, like the little key rings with her name on like it. Because, bought because stuff everything's like that. got two yeah. T's on it. Yeah. Um, it's fine. Anyway, just think of the uh, think of the the ink saving massive. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that okay, was, that so was that's our, one. Yeah, yeah. So so the other thing we wanted in names as well is is that my wife um, suggested the name barley. Right. right, which as you now know is, is my dog. Your dog's name, so, yeah. So which at is the a time I was like, it, it's kind of okay, but it does sound like a dog's name. And I think that I didn't want a name where when you say, oh, hello, hi, my name is Barley, the first reaction is, sorry, what? <laughs> because it would be, right? Like, if you say Scarlet, you go, oh, I know that's a name because I can associate it with real people. Yeah. Whereas Barley, you would be the only human being with that name and it would be a bit Is weird. that true though? Did you look it up? Is there only one? I it, no, I didn't look you it didn't up. Know, okay. No, but it just felt like that would be the case. Sure. So it's, it's a lovely name um, and then eventually we got a dog and we called the dog Barley instead. Um, but that was the only kind of tune, that was, that was my wife's choice. So right. I said I, what I'd really like, I'd like a name that was in the top 100 most popular names at the time but probably between like 70 and 100. That's good, yeah. So so I, I want a name that is obviously a name. Next kid was called Hunter. Yeah. Boy, now, that's almost controversial because Hunter is a very macho name, right? Um, makes you think of gladiators. And the most macho men of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> the gladi- like, so it was Wolf yeah. or Hunter. Yeah. We went with Hunter. <laughs> um, my wife picked this one, um, and I was against it at the beginning because I was against the overly macho overtone of it. Yeah. I thought and it's it, quite a popular name. I thought well. it would put... Um, amazing, there's two Hunters in his class. Yeah, he's, it's he's, quite popular. He's, we he's, saw he's Hunter not the only moon, Hunter in his class. Yeah. Um, uh, but it grew on me, and it was quite cool. And there's, there's, there's cool boys' names, things like Bodie and Cody but like, yeah. and they're almost too cool all people from Point Break yeah, yeah. you know what I mean like, yeah. where, like if you were a surfer maybe but if you're a living Surrey like, got, like, you, you know what I mean like, there, there is a point where a name is too cool you have to own Hunter yeah I think yeah I know and as, it's, a, it's, as an adult you have to be there's yeah. an ex- level of expectation that is set up by knowing somebody is called Hunter P- possibly, before you meet them possibly yeah and I don't know whether that's unfair pressure or not um, it's going to go one of two ways. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a big. And again, we'll, we'll we'll talk so, about that because I've got some of those that are definitely going to go one yeah. of two ways. But but again, so so I was really nervous of cool names. You know what I mean yeah. by cool name. Um, so so that was one something I wanted to avoid. And Hunter was again. It was like at the time it was like seventieth in the list. Now it's gone mm. right up. Right it, up. It, it, it's it's like it's top twenty or something now. Yeah. Um, and the last name I think we spoke about a couple of weeks ago. So my two year old is called Willow. Um, which is not a name I particularly liked. I, it, it, again, it's quite common. It's not. It, it, it's quite a, a high climber in the charts. Mm. So you say Willow, and people don't go what? No, yeah, it, no, it, no. you understand what a name it is. And it's a um, word people have heard a lot. Yeah, and it's a tree, and it's nice. Um, my children, we really like the name Lake, which was really high on the list. But again, it was that point of is that just too unusual for a name? Do people go, hey, when you say your kid's called Lake? I thought it was quite pretty and quite nice. Mm-hmm. Um, so we had Lake, um, and if we're gonna have a fourth. My wife had, uh, had settled on the name Wilder if it was a boy, um, and the, but we decided against having a fourth because three's three is already too yeah, three's mental. Yeah, three's so, mental. That, so, so, amazing so, 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 that, 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 our thought process. How much did you think about the combination of first name and last name? Because yeah. you, like me, yeah. have a very pe- difficult last I don't, name. I don't think you do have a difficult last name. See, I think I do because I have to spell it constantly. No, but I mean, I, but I think in, in, what you, you really want to avoid is, 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 a, is a difficult alliteration. Yeah. Right? So my name begins with a vowel and it, it's quite hard to say. So we like, if you like the name like Isla, Isla Rito, or like Averito, 
or sounds etta delicious. Rita. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's very hard to say. You get this kind of weird yeah. alliteration. Um, so that was the only thing we were we were. So you were conscious of that very much so. Yeah, because yeah. we liked Isla, and Isla yeah. doesn't work. It's actually an incredibly common name, actually, as it turned out. Yeah. Um, and we kind of, we, we, we and did you do that. middle names? Um, so first two kids don't have a middle name. So um, my wife and her sister don't have middle names. Um, with my surname, it's not needed. Yeah. Um, um, so Scarlet and Hunter don't have middle names. Willow only has a middle name because Hunter wanted to call her Rosie, and so we um, we put that in the middle name. So she's the only kid with a middle name. Okay, yeah, because I, I I didn't ever have a middle name, no. and then I changed my name when I married my yeah. wife. So we have the same family name. So woke. So hashtag. <laughs> yeah. Um, you even know sign language. That's how woke you are. <laughs> Is that what that is? Is that for deaf people? Who's the hashtag? Oh, I thought it was for deaf people. No, it's not for deaf people. Uh, But it's very cute (laughs) that you thought it was. Um, Yeah, uh, and so I always was like, well, you don't don't pay by the name when you change your name. No, you, I've seen like where parents have given their kids the middle name of the entire football squad. So, I mean, I wanted to do like Vardy, Schmeichel... You know, drink Lovely. water, Kante, Mares, and you know, and have those as middle name, but it was vetoed. <laughs> Which for an Ito veto is the the yeah, it's the worst kind the of worst veto. kind of veto yeah. Ito is, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, so I actually gave myself two middle names. Yeah, when I, I changed I, my I, name. I, I helped pick them. You did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a theme. Yeah. Um, and so I'm a big fan of middle names. Mm. You can yeah. have fun with it, right? You yeah. can have yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, I said I know someone whose middle names are Richard Edward, yeah. so it becomes Dickhead. Lovely. Yeah. Um, and so we talked a lot about middle names of the wife, and I think I've got her into the two middle names area okay. now, which is what I was hoping for. All right, okay. Yes, so do you want to talk about your suggestions for names for my child first, or shall I do mine for you? No, I'm going to do mine first. You want to do yours first? Mm. Okay. Right. So I've done mine in categories. <laughs> okay, right. so I haven't heard any of these. No. I don't know what's coming. So, let's see. You're quite. Viking like. Yeah. Right. So my first suggestion was to use the Icelandic way of naming. Okay. So the, my the first suggestion is Christen. Okay. So Christen. Christen. Yeah. C- yeah. C H R I S S O N. Christen. The son of Chris. It's got. It's punchy, right? It's punchy, but it's got the same. Sorry, what? Problem? Christen. Yeah. yeah. And it yeah. sounds like Christen. Yeah, it which, does a little bit, yeah. yeah. It's nice though. I, yeah. like, I like a patronymic, especially if it came out like looking quite Viking-like. Yeah. Um, okay, the next uh, name, Ragnar. That's a phenomenal name. I mean, like because it's a phenomenal. Because name, if you yeah. said this is my baby Ragnar, Ragnar. you'd go, oh, "Fuck, that's cool." And it isn't cool like Cody or Bodhi. It's just cool because you'd go like. So I would instantly think this guy has got like Scandinavian Viking heritage. He's giving yeah. it to the baby. That baby is going to be sharpening an axe before he can even even walk. So, that's a, that's a genuinely great suggestion. Yeah. That's quite a popular TV character name. Is it? it? So oh. there's there's a TV show, I think, with a character called Ragnar in. Well, we I haven't seen it. But that might mean that it's. I'll on check. The rise. I'll okay. check on the okay. name, Barry. But also, mm. there's a lot of like white supremacists that um. really like Viking stuff. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, you think it's a bit white supremacist? I think like it's it. a little bit white supremacist if you're not. Yeah. Norse. Okay. Or oh, I don't think. Yeah. That would be a danger because that's why I don't ever really want to like publicly uh, say <laughs> fucking ridiculous saying like oh yeah I don't want to publicly like associate Viking. with Vikings but then I was a Mexican wrestler called El Nordico yeah, who yeah. came out to immigrant song yeah. um, but yeah. okay okay well I've only got one more Viking name so so this was my granddad's name really and I wanted and I wanted to, I put it forward as a suggestion it was instantly ruled out for being geeky but Eric. E-R-I-K. Oh, okay, nice. Right, so, so my granddad was Eric. Um, I thought it was a really cool name. Um, it, it is a bit alliterative to my surname, but it worked for my granddad. Really cool. Yeah. Um, and, that and, sounds but, like a darn time. E-R-I-K. Understand. And also my favourite band has two Erics in it. It's 50% Erics. So like it, for, for me, it was right up there on, on, on the name. I'm just thinking about Ragnar now. E-R-I-K, Eric. Okay, well, tell you what, yeah. that, that's, that's my Viking names done. Do you want to give me two suggestions? And then we can go on to some my... I've got... My other categories are NFL football players cool characters from movies and really cool Jewish names right well I, I, and there's a crossover between the NFL and Jewish names I think I've only got four okay. so how, I can just do all of mine we or do we one can do one, one. Yeah, yeah. we can do one um, okay so again looked on Nameberry that's yeah. great stuff 
Um, that was really good. Uh, as I say, I think I've convinced to go for two middle names. So I think the two middle names would be the same no matter what the first name was. Oh, okay. So I think they work with all of them. Right. Um, so uh, Frederick for one middle name. Right. Which, which is, is your middle my name, middle name yeah. as well. Granddad's middle name. So it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Atticus. Oh, for, nice. That's for, a lovely name. Atticus is quite high up in, in the list. It, it was on our list, on our short it list. It is Atticus. high as a first name. Again, it didn't work with Ito, but it, I love the name, yeah. Yeah. Atticus Finch and... Yeah. I, I, I've heard parents call their kids Atticus at the park. Yeah, so it's quite mm. popular. Mm. That's lovely. It's, it's a brilliant name. I love it. So Frederick Atticus mm. and then Bl- Blumson, yeah. which is the surname. Frederick Atticus Blumson. So those are going to be the same for yeah. all. So um, why don't... You don't well, want anything, you're not considering Atticus as a first name? No. No, okay. No. Uh, so, the first one, yeah. uh, the one of the more traditional ones, yeah. uh, Gabriel. Yeah. Gabriel. Okay. Gabe, Gabriel. That's actually quite Jewish, actually, isn't it, Gabriel? It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's nice. I, 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 one of my very good friends, his son is called Gabriel. Um, yeah. And it's good because when they're older, Gabe works quite well. You can imagine, like, your mate Gabe, couldn't you? you yeah. Know, that's, you know, you, you, it's not... Um, Gabriel is a bit, um, like long and thing but it's, it's it's a good kind of formal name that's right that's nice and i think it's just it's solid mm. i don't think there's going to be mm. ragnar levels of expectation setting or hunter levels of expectation no, settings no, no. with a gabriel but no. i don't think everyone's going to be like okay so, so gabriel frederick atticus blumson yeah you're not trying to make it spell something well, no, if you one, could get yourself wh- cock or something <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah. B, but i mean like yeah it'd be, yeah i mean f- Frederick Atticus Blumson is fab, yeah, which is quite nice. Yeah. So like so G fab, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's one. So we'll, right. you okay. do you right. do some okay. more, so, and so, then I'll come so, back to mine. So I, I've suggested this before. I was watching a TV show. One of the contestants was called Boatwright, and it's just the fucking coolest name to the point where I want to have another kid just so I can call him Boatwright. Right. I, I, it's one of those jobs. It's like you know, like like Fletcher or Hunter or yeah. or, or Smith, like that. Like bo- so a, is a boat, boat, boat right is, is, is a job. Yes. What a does job, a boat yeah. right do? Is it keep a boat right? Makes boats. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, okay. The next thing it, it's it's a little obvious, but um, is Lando. So oh. because you've got the um, F1 driver who's only nineteen and he's called Lando and his dad named him after Lando Calrissian. So so it's kind of moved from that weird name to now into the mainstream a little bit. That's well, interesting. Then. Lando Blumson is yeah. is quite powerful. Yeah, and, and and if anyone thought about it, then you could think, well, actually, it could be just, the F one. Yeah. yeah, no, no, not F one. It's just no. it's just a traditional name. Okay, so my next name, um, based on someone who we both love, um, is Bruce. Bruce Bruce has gone out of fashion, but what a fucking cool name! Is Bruce Blumson? Yes, though? yes, I like the alliteration. So think, think about the two two people who you know called Bruce. Yeah, Springsteen, w- Willis, and Springsteen. Yeah. Like, I mean, what a fucking role models are they? The, have you tried saying the whole thing out loud yep. and not spitting? Bruce Blumson. <laughs> it's because. quite spitty. No, I like it. Bruce Blumson. Bruce Blumson. Well, Bruce if you, Blumson. you purposely fat mouth Bruce, it. Bruce Blumson. Yeah, okay, anyway, think okay. about it. Okay. Okay. And the last one it. was the name that we had, and you really pushed me to call Hunter it, was Fox. Fox! Of course! I got but, so excited yeah. about that. Fox Blumson works pretty well. Oh, that's my favourite. Yeah. Fox. Such a cool name. After you know, Fox Mulder. Is it is it popular? No, no, I've not seen it anywhere. I, I say that I actually do know someone. I have seen a kid with the name Fox. But aside from it seeing it somewhere else, like I don't think it's in any of the lists. Okay, so Fox is my favourite so far. Yeah. Okay, go on. All right, and, I'll, and then we'll move on. If to it wasn't NFL for the ones. white supremacist stuff, it would be Ragnar would yeah. be my favourite. But I like the fact that I'm at least scratching the surface with these, at least making an impression. Well, Fox, I put a lot of work into this. Fox, I'm going to definitely take yeah. back so, to the so boss. So Fox was was quite high up on our list. Yeah, I forgot about. I Fox. remember when you came round to our house because we had a, a chalkboard on the wall of yeah. all the names. You went, no, you have to call him Fox. Like, the, just you have to use that name. It's so, and it's nice because. There's lots of reasons why I like that. Like, w- one of the things that we're, we're trying to do with the first name is because you always have to spell my surname. Yeah. Is to give them a s- first name they don't have to spell. Three, three letters, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, so no, I, I agree. Yeah, that's, that's like a fo- Fox a fo- Blumson sounds like a fighter pilot. Oh, God, it does, it, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that is a great fighter yeah. pilot name. I'm really keen with Fox. Yeah. I, and, and, it, and it's cool without being too cool. Yeah, like, I think like, I think that kid would would be starting life just a little bit higher than some other people. Like like the first day of school, when everybody's kind of lining up and everyone says their name, just it's just a little step forward in front of everyone else. I'd have to change Frederick if I took it, 
You put it second. Yeah, it could be so. Fox Atticus Frederick Blumson. Yeah. It's bloody good. It is bloody good, yeah. 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 So your second choice. Second choice. So how many more more categories do you have? Two. Two. So I I've got a few more names. I might do two now. Alright, okay. Okay. Um so the next one, one of the front runners, yeah. um, is Stone. Yeah, love it. You know, you Yeah. Um so we had this as well. Did you? Uh, yeah, we had it. I don't think I ever saw you have Stone. No, we did. It was on the board. It was on the board because uh, Stone Gozard. Same. Yeah. yeah. I mean, is is Stone Gozard the only person in the world called Stone? No, there's a famous newscaster in America, Stone Phillips, I think. Right. Not that famous. <laughs> well, it's Americans. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so I think there's definitely two. Right, okay. Um, so it's not, it's not like a made-up name. Again, if you say it, it it's an instantly recognisable word. So yeah. When I say Stone, you don't have to tell me to right, say what? it. You might go... As in, like a stone? Yeah. 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 I'm Stone Blumson, damn it. <laughs> God damn yeah. it, yeah. yeah. Detective. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I yeah. really like that one. No, I really like it as well. So that's the front runner, is it? I it, think it's a real front yeah. runner, yeah. It's, it's Again, it, it's cool without being overly cool. Like, yeah. I think like I think there's a certain... like I think you could stand stand back. If you called your son Stone, you could stand back and go, job well done. Yeah. More than I would think, say, with Gabriel. G G Gabriel is like, oh, that's nice. But Stone, it's like, no, we nailed that. Yeah, okay. So we'll do one more. Yep. A bit more of a of a of a, of a go, left, go. Field like left field choice. I like left field. Atlas. Atlas. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the kind of high quality gang you get here at <laughs> Pro Dad Noob Dad. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. It. Yeah. Again, it, I, it's it's a bit tough, isn't it? Like, I mean, you know, you feel like it's it's a bit. Overly manly, is it? I mean, coming from a guy whose son's called Hunter. Yeah, yeah. If you're saying that, then it probably needs to be dialed down a bit. Yeah, no, I don't know. Like, yeah. I mean, if you, if you think of Atlas, he carried the world on his back, right? He was a massive, big brute of a man, so mm. strong he could carry the world. So it does invest a certain hunterness or wolf or gladiatorness. You could imagine a gladiator called Atlas, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he could have been on series four or whatever it was yeah. when they cancelled it. You could definitely have Atlas. And he would have been massive. He would be, be as big be as a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't not like it, but I think it um, requires some thought and some work through the connotations of it. Mm. Again, because like white supremacy, it is linked to one of the biggest white supremacist books. Not white supremacist, oh, but yeah. like, like, like yeah. capitalist. The one that they yeah. love, your Atlas. That's true, yeah, actually. Yeah. Only Anne Rand, that's out the window, yeah. Yeah. So, kind of, um, it's the kind of book somebody called Jovan would like. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, if he yeah. could read, <laughs> if he listen to the audio book, of, would have yeah. read that yeah. as many times yeah. as we've read Bravo to Zero. Yeah. Which improves with <laughs> yeah, every read. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so let's have, have some okay, more. All right, so, so a, a great source of, um, and I hope this comes across in the right way, I mean it, but a great source of brilliant names is the NFL. Right. right? They just seem to have wonderful names. Okay. Where, like, it seems like if you think your son is going to grow up to be an NFL player... You name him like a superstar. You just give them crazy names. Right. Um, so, my favourite, and one of my favourites, Pharaoh. So, you know, as a European, though, mm. I read that as F-A-R-O-E. As in the airport. Well, no, the islands. Oh, the Faroe Islands. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay, move on. Um, <laughs> another one I really like, a uh, place with Texans, Duke. Duke is solid. D-U-K. Yeah, Duke, Duke is really solid. Duke Blumson. Because you've got the guitar player connotation. Yeah. Like, it, it's almost like a level of royalty, isn't it? You know, you can have his little duchess. Duke, Duke Blumson. Duke is it too cool? Because Duke immediately... Brings up Duke Ellington for me. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, 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 which, yeah, yeah, yeah. which which is like, it seems like you're trying to, you know, when they have people. What's what's the crime in America where I don't know if it's a crime. Stolen where, valor. Stolen valor. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what you meant. Yeah. Yeah, it, it feels a bit like stolen valor. That one, like yeah. one of the okay. coolest cats around. There's lots of kids called Otis at the minute. Is there? Mm, yeah. My favorite male singer. Named after the lifts. <laughs> no. Not the anteater. No, no, love the yeah. uh, love, love an escalator. <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, Baker. Baker Blumson. Yeah. See, that's alliteration, but I enjoy that more than, than the Bruce, Bruce Blumson. I think it's a Bruce. 
Ba yeah, yeah, okay. But, but I like the name Baker. Okay, it's, it's one of the job names, like Fletcher and the things we've spoken yeah. about, but it's quite an honest profession. Yeah. Baker. Yeah, it's, you know. Yeah, and, and it's one of those surname... So, so that's, that's a really common thing. We haven't really touched on that, but a big, massive trend is using surnames as first names. Okay. So like Harrison and, and things. Um, have you seen Ford as a first name? That's pretty cool. Ford, it's no, not on my list, but that's, yeah, I've seen quite a few people called like Harrison Ford. But because I like guess Ford, you you and... you see a lot of this by seeing kids in schools and birthdays and stuff. Yeah, and so I mean, you like hear if, a lot you, of if names. you look at the class listing, so when we were in school, it'd be like Stephen Paul yeah, Richard, Keith. Stephen Paul Richard, Richard Stephen Paul James James. Yeah. Whereas like now, like well, well I'd say ninety percent of the boys in, in this the is where you school, live though yeah, as well. Ninety percent of the kids in my, my infant school are called George. Right. Then nine, the remaining kind of nine percent are called Harry. And then the one percent left are things called things like Otis and Hunter. Yeah. Okay. But 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 almost every child at the minute is called George or Harry. And is that Oliver's or Olivia's with the most popular um, names? Still? I don't. And I do know an Oliver. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. But, keep yeah. going. Though. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the last name that I've got as an NFL player, which is fucking cool, also goes into my last category, which is Jewish names. Right. Ezekiel. Shortens to Zeke. Ezekiel Brimson sounds tremendous yeah. and but Zeke Blumson is a fucking bass player in a punk rock band Zeke Z-E-K-E so it works on two ways you've got a pre-made amazing nickname that you can pre-decide so, so again he, he's, a, he's an NFL player that, that, you know but see. no I like it so, yeah. so Ezekiel works because you're honouring the heritage the, the, you know the, the yeah. in-laws are going to fucking love that they will yeah Ezekiel Blumson so that guy can be an accountant or he can be a bass player in a punk band so I think you're giving the kid options with that okay that was one of my strongest choices of the list mm. that we've got yeah. Fox Stone Stone Gabriel yeah Atlas Dylan yeah what's your favourite Fox and Stone for me. Fox and Stone yeah I mean I, I really like Stone yeah. yeah do you think like it places any like undue pressure or connotations on the child I don't think so. No, no, because it's, I mean, like a, a stone by definition is quite an inanimate object, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, no, it's, that's it's true. It's solid and it's, it's a thing, like, like it, but it's not rock, like, which would be, you know, something else. I, I think a stone is just, it's, it's calm, it's, no, I, I don't think it overly pro projects any kind of demeanour to them. It, I think it says my parents are quite interesting. Yeah. Um, but no, it doesn't sound too pretentious. No, it doesn't sound pretentious. Right? It's not overly cool. Yeah. Um, I think it's interesting. Um, everybody knows what it is you wouldn't have to spell it yeah that, which is a big thing which is a big thing yeah. um, I think it ticks almost every box so Stone Frederick Atticus Blumson mm. yeah you're on board with that yeah no yeah. I mean the, the middle names are fun I mean you, you can fun. do what you like with middle names I mean you know you could do anything um, but I mean really your name is your first name and your surname so the middle names you use once a year right I mean Okay, well, this has been an yeah. awesome chat. Thank yeah. you. I will take some of these back You're to my wife. You're going to take them back to your wife? Yeah. Does she get a say? I mean, yeah, well, she gets yeah. the absolute say. Right. Yeah. She gets the final say. She gets the yeah. final say. Excellent, okay. Um, and she, what she, you, the names that you've given me are, are also her suggestions as well, though? They are... I think they're all her suggestions, oh, yeah. I okay. think. And, and these and, things and, get muddled, and, don't and, they? And how close do you think you're getting a, like a, a final decision now? I, mean, I think we're we probably a couple, a couple of weeks off. Really? Yeah, I think Amazing. so. Amazing. Yeah, and then you can start having the um, the name tags made for their um, for their football kit and their PE kit. As well. Exactly, because you've got to be prepared. You got to, you never know what yeah. will happen. Yeah, exactly. You don't you don't want to be caught short. Yeah. going. Oh, they start school in four years and I haven't got their uniform ready. More like probably get it put in their masks or you know, put their PPE, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Yeah. Uh, my first PPE, but yeah, great. So yeah, great. we'll, we'll see what happens in maybe next week's full episode. Yeah, well, I mean, you'll, you'll never, we won't, we're not going to have a birth certificate, are we? So we won't really find out until the birth certificate. That is true. Because, you know, like, you, it might change, you know, you might, the baby might come out and you go, you can't call this stone, it's a baby. <laughs> You're right. Let's just call him James. James. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have yeah. given ourselves, no matter what we choose, yeah. we have a get out when we meet the baby. Right. To change the name if we really want to. Of course. To. Yeah. Um, so That's we're not, yeah, we're not going to, yeah. we're not going to hard stop it. No. But we are going to choose a name in the next couple of weeks that we stick with until the end. Right, okay. And then, then have some in reserve. Have some in reserve, yeah. Pocket yeah. names. Good. Project. Okay, so this is Joel's dad joke of the week. The fan, fan favourite section. I'm going to change it up a little bit. So, you know at Christmas, you yeah. probably don't know, um, your people don't celebrate it, do they? No. Um, you have a, have a cranker, 
right? All right, yeah. So you know how bad the jokes are in a cracker? So for me, like, there's no point in just telling the joke because they're crap. The fun of a cracker joke is you tell me the answer and I'll... Tell you the joke. joke. Or, or you tell me the joke and I'll guess the end. I'll guess the, the punchline. Right? Lovely. So make it fun. So instead of me just retelling my terrible joke, why don't I set it up and you see if you can make the same joke I did? Genius. Right? So um, it's another food-related one. Go on. So, um, so they're not always puns. It could be like the avocado joke. It could be like, yeah, oh, I've yeah, got yeah, this yeah. both before. They're mostly puns. They're mostly puns. Um, so... Um, uh, I think my wife was making like a mashed potato dish for my son. Right. And she got the cheese. Yeah. She grated it over the top of the thing. He's like, no, no, I don't like the cheese like that. Oh, no, no, that looks awful. I'm like, what are you on about? It looks great. There it is. Wonderful. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, you see, it works better if you guess the joke. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. So that, that, that's the new format. I'm in. Yeah. Joel's right, dad good. joke yeah. of the week. Um, da, 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 da. Done. Ooh. So, our final section, which is. Milestone, mm. the next milestone. Stone. Stone, yeah, stone. yeah look at that. Milestone. Yeah, there oh, you go. Miles is quite nice. Thing. That's quite nice. Yeah. Reminds me of my uh, one of my favourite video game characters, which I never got the joke about their name until yeah. 15 years later. Oh, yeah. Sonic 2. Yeah. With the. Miles um, the Hedgehog. Ma- yeah. Miles the Fox. Isn't Fox, it? yeah. Fox. Yeah. That's what Miles' surname is. It tells you in the game. No. It's, it's Prower. Right. Oh, mm-hmm. miles per hour. Yes, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Didn't get that yeah, joke yeah. for a long time. Miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a great joke. Yeah, it's a great joke. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, milestone. Uh, also, the colour of the nursery is stone blue. Oh, that's a sign. <laughs> that, that's what happened with Willow being born in the Willow Suite at the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. But we had the name before, though, didn't? Where the Willow name come after you saw it in the suite? Doesn't matter. Well, oh, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that was Killington. Yeah. <laughs> if we can't respect the linear nature of time, yeah. Joe, then where are we as people? Uh, next milestone yes, is so um, it's a massive milestone. Twenty weeks. What happens at twenty weeks, Chris? You get your twenty-week NHS scan, and that's when you find out what the sex is. Yes. Are you going to pretend you don't know? Or well, just then, to keep them the and thrill? And then do like a gag yeah. for the NHS person. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it might be nice. But you go if it. it if it's a girl, then <laughs> I'm going to be over the moon. Yeah, I, I just be, want a I just, girl. All I, I want is a girl. I don't want a boy. I'll go mad if it's a boy. Whatever you do, don't tell me it's a boy, okay? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I mean, this, this, if anything, is a confirmation as well that it is a boy. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Which is nice, because yeah. scans can be wrong. Mm-hmm. We personally know two different couples yeah. whose scan... And that was even at 20 weeks. was wrong. Okay, so, girl names. Off you go. Yeah. <laughs> we will be back <laughs> in week 22 <laughs> with a girl names episode. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's yeah, that's a yeah. huge one. Yeah. And also, it's a lot more of a health scan. Right. It's a lot more So, will you have had that scan by the time we do this next episode? We certainly will, yeah. We'll Monday. be doing it on the Monday and then we'll have the episode on the Tuesday. Cool. Um, so, we'll be able to discuss that, talk about yeah. health, talk about all the different things, um, see how it looks. Mm. So, that's a massive, that's yeah. a massive milestone. And then also, psychologically... Obviously, pregnancies run very different depending on um, a whole manner of things, but that's halfway there, basically. Yeah, it is. Well, that, yeah. That's home straight, um, which for uh, my wife, who is still suffering quite a lot. Oh, really? She is, yeah. yeah. Uh, then that's a welcome thing. Yes, okay, we're nearly there, yeah. We're on the home straight, yeah, we're, we're halfway we've there. We've broken the back of the baby. Yes. Not literally. No. That's a crime. Yeah, that's... <laughs> just... <laughs> That is a crime. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, thank you very much yep, for, for watching. Watching. Yeah. Um, um, thanks for coming on the journey with us and Chris's yeah. uh, baby and naming. Um, if you have any suggestions for Chris's baby name, leave, leave them in the, the comments. comments. Yeah. And um, and we'll go through them next week. Like, yeah. subscribe. Yeah. Um, I want at least one your van. Yeah. <laughs> that will get uh, removed by the moderators if everybody <laughs> suggests yeah. your van. Yeah. Um, see you next week. See you later. Bye. Seek professional advice.